Hello everyone, my name is Dupreno, and this is some more City Skylines playing Pinkertown, and I just, I like where this is starting to go, even though it's nowhere near finished, and this will clearly be the downtown area, eventually, because this is hopefully going to be a big city that I'll play for a long time. It all depends on how much of this freaking bullshit keeps happening that will decide how much I feel like playing this game because this shit is bullshit. I mean, just random meteors dropping right at the city entrance? Yeah, that was rude as shit. I'm just saying that was really mean of the game. Anyway, let's add a couple more miniature areas for residential. Oh, that can be a big one. There we go. Uh, right, fill that out. Why would, wasn't that filled out? We need more res. We need way more residential. We're actually uh, running low on it right now. some extra commercial zones um, that should also probably mean that we can fill up another area here for residential something like this I mean we should have it it is watered it is powered our consumption is pretty good right now we did build an, a few extra of these things um, to save maintenance I should maybe start Removing some of these, even though they are all currently at ooh, they're actually at nine milli megawatt, not milliwatt, megawatt output. Uh, of course, these are at like twenty three and twenty two. Jeez, they're good. Um, like I don't necessarily. This one I think is. Yeah, I will remove this one. That's simply for the fact that we can then slightly expand this road and add that tiniest amount of extra industry here there we go we are actually making money um to the point where i'm like hey let's just pay off that loan wow we're actually making three thousand cash a, a week this is weekly by the way this is not monthly this is weekly even though the simulation simulates it on a day-by-day -day basis and money keeps coming in like every couple of hours. So it's not... The, the, the money flow is more continuous than the income suggests. Which is useful. Yeah, probably quite a few extra dead people since last week. Uh-huh. Uh, you're having to over ed not enough customers. Oh, but like over educated workers It happens, but what we need to do uh, and then the buyers right this is what we are working on before we got completely blasted Is uh, we want to expand our industry Workers' barracks increase the work efficiency of the workers in the industry area. Each building increases the work efficiency by 5% up to maximum of 100%, which means maximum of 20 to full extent. And auxiliary buildings need to be placed inside the area. I want a flour mill. I could also go for cattle. Um, but I want the flour mill first. If we build it here, we should have power already. Then again, it might be better putting this on the main road. Yeah, let's build it on the main road at the very least. And, uh, you know, maybe extend that main road as well. I think that is still, yeah, that is still within the area. Uh, we're 
we're also going to need more crop fields in general. It's being very snappy right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the fish market. Oof. They sold 30 fish last week. Okay, yeah. I think I think that is 30 tons, not just... They also have tourists that could go to the fish market. Um, but what we should really set up is a couple of bus routes, to be honest. Um, how much is it to build bus routes? The depot costs 30,000. Biofuel is even more expensive. What else is there? Intercity bus station allows you to basically have bus station as an outside connection. A big bus station could be useful for a very big area. I mean, this is still a nice area that we could possibly fit in like a a train station at some point. I'm not sure how wide they are nowadays. Multi-platform stations, train metro hub. All right, the hub system that was added this uh, expansion as well. Oh, cool. Tourist walking tours and stuff. Hot air balloon ride, sightseeing bus. Yeah, it's expensive to start up a bus uh, route. Uh, let's start speeding up the simulation so we get some more money faster. And again, I could just, you know, grab a loan and build it quicker, but... Why can I not take this one yet? Probably... Oh, we need 17,000 population before we can. That's a lot. I mean, I could now get this loan, build the bus depot immediately. Yeah, traffic here is probably the busiest in the entire city. Um, might be a good idea to put another on and off ramp back here. Well, it should only be in... Yeah, it doesn't need to go two ways for now. Which is nice. Do have to make sure that power stays connected. But we can do that slightly different. Oh. We can just connect this instead. And it's still powered up. We don't need a lot of this anymore, which is nice too, all things considered. Okay, so... Mm. And on ramp. This just has to be a very long off-ramp. There. So now they're allowed to get off here and on here, which means that people from this side of town don't have to all go to this side of town as well to get onto the highway. And you see they immediately start making use of it. This will be cleaned up once we extend the highway further out, which uh, will happen at some point. How is the, where we even put it, um, good thing that we checked on it, they're actually completely filled up. Um, 
garbage in industry. Uh, yeah, we need a second one of these for now. Probably should build a recycling center as well. Yeah, we should. This should lower the amount of garbage being uh, generated, which slows down the rate these two fill up. It's actually, I mean, they do think of a lot of details, like this is a fill, fill landfill, and this is an empty landfill, and you see a distinct Meteorologists difference. are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. I mean, a thunderstorm is... A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. That's a fire. Yeah, this site needed a um, fire station anyway. We might have put it down now. I think that, that the power managed to, or well, the thunder managed to hit right there on the power lines. I mean, there's enough power coming in. Oh wow, look at, oh shit. Huh. I didn't expect there to be the forest fires. Not. Oh. Seriously, the same one got hit? That's bullshit. That is utter, utter bullshit. The exact same one got hit. Also, back here, they decided to hit it. Here as well. Which means that immediately sewage gets backed up, which is not something we want either. Or water in general just disappears. Oh look, it's hit here again. Why is capacity down? No, it's back up again. Okay. This area should immediately fix itself. Okay, that seems to be the worst of it all. Oh, jeez, again? I'm hating thunderstorms already. Very much. And there shouldn't be this much fire with the amount of rain falling as well, but okay. Whatever. Yeah, that should fix itself as well. Power is back on. Okay, everything is power, everything is water. It's a bit more forest fire over here. Oh, hello, rail connection. I didn't see you. What the heck is all of this? 
Hmm. This map has some very cool details, that's for sure. Yeah, <clears throat> I expected there to not be enough raw materials. That's, oh no, it's an animal pasture. I needed crop pastures. 4,000. And we're all on wheat, which is exactly what we need to supply our flour mill. Landfill is okay. Okay, we are <laughs> severely under capacity for processing our garbage. Since water pollution, okay, interesting. I'm gonna need a second recycling center, clearly. How is this forest fire still going? Oh, there are still forest fires going everywhere. Okay, this is a very big one. Sorry trees, but this is the best way to prevent you all from burning me. Of course the fire manages to uh, get to one of the houses. And now we need a bakery. I believe it was 15,000. 20,000. Well, that's almost there as well. That can be placed outside the industry area. Um, I'd rather just build it next door to the flour mill. Animal, animal products. That is mean. Well, we are a busy town now. So that is nice. Tourism specialization, oil industry. Some more policies are available. A lot more roads are available, including sound barriers on the highway. That's going to be nice to have. Police HQ, hospital, oil power station, fire station, some extra tourism stuff like a skate park. Well, not just tourism, but also just park stuff. Weather radar, tsunami warning buoy. A fish farm. Intelligence agency. Okay, medical lab.
Oh right, that did give us a... Uh... Oh, it did not give us an extra zone to buy. Okay. But this will allow us to um, build up... Not enough buyers of oranges. Oh. And it looks like we need some more wheat. Yeah, um, there are going to be a ton of workers in this area, which allows us to reduce the amount of actual demand for factories, which is cool in itself, for sure. Maybe I should build a couple of connecting roads, because now this, uh, you know what? No, 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 no. Oh, that's trolley buses. No, 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 we need regular buses. We'll build that over here. And we need to start plonking down some bus stops. Um, let's create a new line that just goes in a circle around here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And complete the line. Yay. This is just going around the block, basically. People have actually a very decent length that they are willing to walk. Uh, I need to create a new line. Might as well add it on the other side. One, two... Three. And we'll add a stop here. Four. We'll add one. Five. Six. Seven. I actually don't know why I'm counting out the stops, but. Oh, they can't just make a U-turn like, oh. That is unfortunate, but... And, oh, wow, our consumption has gone up. Yeah, you know what that means. Temporary loan time. Actually, I think we need two of these. Yeah. Uh, and the wind is down, which is why we're not producing as much power at the moment. The consumption has gone up, don't get me wrong, but there's also less wind happening. Okay, that should fix all of that shit. Literally shit. Then again, power is still having massive issues. Whoa, what happened to all the wind? The wind is just down completely. And these things are really expensive. Oh, jeez. Have to temporarily up the power budget? Like, half the area here is... Okay, wind's picking back up. Oh, jeez. 
that's just that was a scary moment suddenly we're at 160 megawatts power produced though because the wind decided to just come back out of nowhere we have two medical spots we have two fire departments we only have one police station So we'll build a police station on this side as well. And with that police station, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. It looks like all the fires are out. We have bus routes. Wow, these are uh, actually doing pretty well. Lines overview. Um... Six, only six feet. Okay, no, no, that's fine. Uh, line details. Plenty of... Holy crap, Pola. This is a busy bus stop. Can I see the stop itself? I thought I would be able to. Thomas Clark, Piper, Rain, Taylor, Cook. Lots of people waiting on that bus stop. Can I be like, hey, um, put more buses on that line? Anyway, um, the buses will go running. I will see you all later.